Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of Massive Chalice. This is episode 22, and we're going to continue. Now, I noticed when I started this up earlier that it's really, really laggy when we're advancing time now. I don't know why. I don't know what's changed. It could have been a patch update. It could be, at this point in the game, there's so many things happening that the, I don't know, the program is struggling to keep up with all the births, the deaths, the ages, and the trades and everything that's happening. I'm not entirely certain. But it looks like we have two attacks that we can defend against. We can defend against uh, this one, which will give us three advanced seed kills, which I don't hate. Or this one and get a newborn baby boy. But we would end up losing this place. So we're not going to lose this place, or I'm going to try not to. And we're going to go up against seeds, wrinklers, and cradles. And they're all going to be advanced, I'm sure of it. So we're going to go there and try. Try, try, try to do combat. I believe we have a Blackwell baby from the last episode that has a relic? Yes, we do. Lolian? Lolani? Leolahalanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehanehan
Alright, well, what if I move here? And what about our other individual? Eh, a little too risky. Uh, hmm. I suppose moving here wouldn't be the worst thing ever. I should have probably just killed this. Alright, so I imagine we're going to have some hatred from the cradle. No? Yes? No? Ah, there we go. And I figured the Wrinkler would come and add some years to our life. It's not great. We got some fury out of the deal. Alright, the advanced cradle's moving forward. It's got no target, really, so it's we'll all well and good. It's all fine. Uh, the bees are probably expanding a little bit. Looks like that is exactly what they're doing. And I think I'm going to move here. And fire that way. With a double shot. And miss with our single shot, because we're amazing like that. Okay, I am going to hit you that way, I think. And we did a glancing blow. Not a great start. Definitely not a great start. Alright, well I'm gonna move I'm gonna move forward. I'm going to do a free throw. And there's no way it misses. Great. Okay, and then I'm going to do a follow-up throw. Should reveal the cradle. And there indeed it is. Okay, let's see. There are no bees there. Can move there. Looks like I have an okay chance to hit that. Hmm. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna kill it. Sweet, sweet, nice. Put it down. All right. And then we're going to go with our new uh, Blackwell baby over here. And we're going to hopefully land this, which we have the potential to kill. Better than better than not, Chance. So let's see. And we got it. So that could have gone far worse. It didn't turn out too bad. Still sucks that we added five years to his life, though. That's kind of a big deal if you think about it. Seeds are definitely on their way to us. And that's not great. Let's get out and explore with our, our new friend here. So the seeds we're going to have to deal with in melee combat, whereas the cradles we're going to want to have to deal or not want to have to deal with, but we're going to want to deal with in other combat situations here. Um, I think if maybe I move here, it won't be terrible. And I'm going to try to smack the seed here. That was not a good choice. Alright, so at this point, what can I do? I think I can use the elixir on him. I'm going to give it a shot. There we go. Not exactly where I was hoping to be positioned for this next little bit, but it's okay. We will see how it plays out. C doesn't know what's going on. The cradle doesn't seem to care or doesn't seem to know. Apparently we just exchanged glancing blows. That's not terrible. This one probably knows what's up. Uh, fire is seed. Okay. As opposed to his bomb over that way. Alright. So, at this point, I believe it's time for us to make some headway, shall we? And we missed. That's really, 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 really bad. Okay, well, you know what? We'll reset and try it again soon. Hmm. There we go. Alright. We'll fire the flare and keep everybody on Lizak down move over here, and I'm still going to take a shot. Probably not going to hit it, but might as well take it, right? There we go, 14 damage. It's not horrible. And an attack from this angle. If I hit him, good. He would fly into the wall and get owned, but apparently I suck and missed and did not do those things. So, there we go. Kill it with our 68-year-old who hits harder than our young caber jack guy, who's slightly older now. Because he had five years added to his lifespan, which is never a good thing. But hey, you know what? 
it's okay. All right, we'll move forward. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you not blinded? And why would you hurt yourself? That made no sense. All right, well, let's do this. Smack you into the wall. Stun you. Okay, that's a good sign. Um, let's move here. Do a little bit of damage on you. I like it. And then there's no worse chance to hit here. Okay, I like that too. That's pretty nice thus far. And then we'll come over here. Oops. Totally didn't see that guy. Wow. Well, that wasn't part of the plan at all. Let's see if I can move here. Am I out of vision? I am not. I'm going to back up further. And it's your move, Cadence. What are you going to do, Advanced Seed? Oh, really? You think that's going to affect us in any way? <laughs> It's not. It's just actually going to give him more damage to hit. But, and he just crushed that thing. And that is sweet, sweet, nice, because he definitely needed it. Alright. Um, the new Blackwell baby's going to come forward, and unfortunately, really bad chances to hit seeds with the Archer-type folk. It's it's really a problem. The old slippery, uh, slippery slope there. Um, can't hit that far out. That's okay. Move forward. I don't think my alchemist can quite close the distance that I want. However, our alchemist does have an amazing throwing arm, so we can take him out that way. So there we go. That might be it, but I'm sure there's got to be more than that. Yeah, there is. I say, it, we were lucky that they were segregated as much as they were, but there had to be more than that. And there is, apparently. Oh, look, here they are. They sound like weird otters. <laughs> or dolphins or something. Going back to the days of Flipper, I suppose. Uh, I want to move so I'm not invisible. And hope that that sea does not find me. Looks like I might be able to do some bee tossing if I'm lucky. We will see though. We shall see. Alright, looks like the advanced wither guy is like, Oh no, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna run away. And they all seem to go and like kind of chill next to each other over here. It's just perfect for me to throw my bees in a bottle on everyone. That's got to get some people. I wonder how many. Alright, looks like we have an advanced cradle over there, and it looks like we landed it on all of them, in fact. All three. So we'll see how that plays out soon. Um, let's move here. What kind of shot? Do we have a shot that far out? We do not. Okay. I don't hate moving just against this uh, back wall thing and seeing how this plays out. I am quite okay with that. Turn, and we'll even get a junior over here. Uh, the little amphibino who could. Alright, the bees are just a wrecking face. Oh yeah, they're definitely not enjoying that. Look at that. That was some seriously dark juju magumbo gone down on them. Man's Cradle's like, what, what are you guys doing over there? Where are you playing with the bees? They're like, we didn't want to play with the bees. Somebody threw them on our head. Oh, I guess it's okay. Alright, so there we go. Ooh, an enemy spotted us. Or we spotted an enemy. I don't. That's whatever. It's fine. Oh, well, there's definitely something going on in that general region. The bees are spreading. So that is what that is all about. Um, definitely not going to be able to hit him. Um, perhaps if I position myself well. I can land an attack on both of these folks. A double shot. One, and a follow-up. Two, baby. What? Not a tremendous amount of damage, but eh, fairly decent. I can't complain too much. Uh, what 
if I go... Ooh, that might be bad. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna do it anyway. Get destroyed. The white birch is here! Awake the steel! Alright, sweet. So that played out rather nicely. We can flare it up, and I like that idea. And in fact, I'm going to do it. And that also gives us the potential, or the possibility, if you will, to destroy that. And then we will be set to hopefully kill some stuff. Oh, that only... okay. Apparently that only takes one damage. Hmm. Alright, well... Let's try it. Boom. And this should follow up and kill? No, we missed. Shameful. Shameful display. But the bees are going to do 16 damage, give or take. 15, there we go. The other guy not get hit by the bees. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, they're going to move around, but they should not be able to do anything to us. The other advanced wrinklers going around the back. Ooh, our acid broke through, so that actually did work out pretty well for us. The bees are expanding once again, and it looks like it's going to be up to us to finish this off. Alright, I'm going to move here. And I don't have a shot. An easy shot, so we're going to take this one. And then we're going to try and finish them. And we have done so. Sweet, sweet, nice. It's very nice to have these folks back on retainer, so to speak. Alright, going to try moving here and see if we get a name for ourselves. Ooh, we leveled up, it looks like. Die. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright, going to move forward here. I see no other things lingering trying to kill me, so we're going to go for the 60% shot. We hit it. And the follow-up missed. That's okay. I believe our alchemist has the power, the strength, the potential to finish this. So we will see. Um, with a crit, we'll finish it. Without it, no. Oh, we did not crit. But with acid, no, it's still not enough. Maybe with bees as well as acid? Acid, bees, and that is enough. Alright, so there we go. And it looks like victory is ours, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, it is. Nobody He's died. Good, we had right? five... Good. That was outstanding. We had five years added to our Caber Jack guy, but eh, it is simply what it is. I'd love to install him into a, into a castle or a keep, but unfortunately that's not possible. 17 kills, 12 turns, 16 minutes, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's take a look. Four kills, eight kills, two, none from the Amphibino, unfortunately, and three from the Wanderer. Eh, I'll take it. I will take it. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're about to lose. Our tactical Ooh, our tactical victory caused caused an additional three advanced seed casualties. Don't know how that's possible, but okay. Pretty sure our boss is about to die, though. That is unfortunate, but it is kind of reality, so we're going to advance time. Oh, oh, for a minute there, it was going at normal speed and then started lagging out again. That are not going to say anything? No? Uh, is now, or is no longer infected. The quarantine worked wonderfully, and a cure was successfully created after the 671st attempt. Wow, is that all? As you welcome the old hero back, it be also becomes clear that the books that had been lying around the historian's house were probably read at least 20 times each. Alright, so, she gained the bookworm personality. Let's take a look at that. What does that do for us? Probably not a good thing, just saying. Um, what is the bookworm? Ooh, actually that is good. Increased intelligence from reading tons of books. Okay, I can I can dig with that. I, in fact, you are going... I know exactly what I'm going to do with you. I know exactly what I'm going to do with you. Okay. We have nobody in the Sage Rites thing right now? Or we have zero vacancies? Zero vacancies. Um, well, Frey run is getting pretty low, so we'll see. We will definitely throw her into it, though. I think that is a wise course. Alright, onward we go! And there we go. Immediately, like, right after I check. That's pretty funny. 
All right. Well, you should have some, you know, said increased intelligence. Why is your intuition so low? Hmm. That does seem a, a tad a scouch odd. Um. Well. Let's see. I'm not going to use another alchemist. It's 45. Uh, we'll throw her in there anyway. Clumsy, asthmatic, nervous flincher. Eh. There we go. We'll throw her in and become a sage right. Welcome. Welcome. All right. So that works, I guess. It's fine. We're getting pretty close to the end of this episode. I know it's only been about 20 minutes or so. I mean, we went kind of streamlined up on this. All right, Hanthar Felorex, partner of the Regent, comfort us has died of natural age, uh, causes at the age of 49. How old are you? 46. I think you deserve to have another another uh, child. Uh, we can throw Nicholas onto you. Um, well, well, you know what? Our caber jack guy is probably done anyway. So we're gonna, just going to throw him into the mix. Whatever. It's fine. He's not going to live too much longer, I don't feel. And unfortunately, we could not install him into any of the houses that we wanted. So we're going to advance time. It looks like it's a lot less laggy now. And there was a big chunk of time where nothing happened there. This might take some thought. I'm glad I don't have your job today. All right. So the corruption... Or riot control. The corruption spreading in Ebit Marsh hasn't been taken well by the populace, and the simmering anger has been worked into a frenzy by notorious chalice criticizer Sarah Alexanach, <laughs> resulting in riots. It, be, er, yeah, it being a region close to Sivit Mackett's heart, your hero is offered to ride back to Ebit Marsh and attempt to quell the escalating fear and violence. All right, order to infiltrate the riot. Ooh, that sounds awesome. All right. Allow him to go in. Be gone, peasant person. I'm going to try to go to the 250 mark and then break off the episode, guys. It's been quite a challenge, but we have managed it, and there we go. He's returned back. But what I really wanted you here for was... Civet Maquette has returned and is in one of the worst moods you have ever seen. Not only were the riot negotiations with Sarah a complete sham, but after weeks of stonewalling, all Sarah wanted to know was whether your hero but sabotage the chalice for deceiving the nation. Really? Of course, Sivirt Siv Siv refused, but now the riots have worsened. Hmm. Well, that's nice. Thanks. Blackwells are just constantly having problems, aren't they? Well, that's going to do it for this episode, folks. We are going to have our armor boost in about a year, which is going to be nice. And we only have 50 years until the cure for all of the cadence and corruption around our little island of awesome. Until tomorrow, guys, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later. <laughs>